Finley says the next morning she was dead. It was supposed to be a fun, long weekend for 25-year-old Shinquilla Robinson and her group of friends who went to Cabo to celebrate one of their birthdays. She told me they had a chef. They was getting ready to eat. They was eating tacos, some salad or something they was eating. And um, I said, well, okay, I love you. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. And I never talked to my child again, and she never made it back home. Robinson's mom, Selamandra, says within 24 hours of her daughter's arrival, she was dead. Figuring out how or why has only added to the family's nightmare. It started with a frantic call from Robinson's friends. They said she wasn't feeling well. She had alcohol poison. They couldn't get a pulse. Each one of the, the people that was there with her was telling different stories. It's when the family made calls to the FBI and Mexican authorities that they learned of another potential cause of death. And the autopsy came back. They said it didn't have anything to do with alcohol. Say that she had been, um, she had a broken neck and her spine in the back was cracked. She had been beaten. Salamandra says the entire group came back from Mexico, leaving her daughter's body there. Nearly two weeks and $6,000 later, her body is back home. But answers have been hard to come by. You know, I know that's not going to bring my child back. But oh, Two weeks ago, Shanquilla Robinson went to Mexico. Oh, two weeks ago, she... Go to my channel, Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. Note, all comments are alleged and our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Where we discuss celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. And what's the hot topic for the day or the week? Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, make comments, but be kind, and also hit the notification bell. Prayers and condolences to the friends true friends and family in regards to what transpired let me give give you a general of what many people have reported they went on the trip allegedly they had called the mom stating that she wasn't feeling well and then it was kind of like okay what's going on and one friend was kind of playing music for her because he thought she wasn't feeling and it, it 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 all isn't adding up because if she was assaulted and beat it how is it that he's playing music for her all of it's not adding up and why would they call the mom to say that the, it was food poisoning and then the autopsy i believe i'm sorry it was in regards to alcohol she was uh she was poisoned by alcohol or something like that but then allegedly they come back they bring the luggage back to the family but then they're also at the family's house still saying it's alcoholism poisoning or something like that how could you sit in front of that mom and say that i would have had a recorder going i would have had the police there there's no way you're gonna come up in my home and the last person that saw my daughter and you just gonna be up in my home no I need the police here. I need I need FBI here because there's no way you gonna just y'all gonna come back and leave my daughter and then I don't really know and she has seemed fine. Oh, we made it. We about to make tacos. Things seem fine. There's different scenarios that's being said in regards to whether she had on clothes, didn't have on clothes, and many people are saying, well. And then they were saying, why won't you fight? And she and she wouldn't fight back. But the biggest thing is people are so weird. A person has passed. This should have never happened. Period. What sick-minded person thinks that you're going to get away with taking someone's beautiful life? And people are, is it jealousy? Is it that? <laughs> Someone did this. And then they, they called the mom. And said it was this. And then they went to the mom's house. 
that's the bigger picture that there's lies that's going on and then you're in the family's home. That's the bigger picture. That's the sad part. You leave her there. You don't even wait for the family to get there. Excuse me. That's to me. Everybody be careful who your friends are. Focus on healthy, safe relationships. If you see some side eye or weirdness going on, I'm not certain why the altercation happened. I'm not certain why they didn't fight back. We don't know what. I mean, they was even saying that there was a video and nobody helped her. That's the sad part. Why didn't someone help her? Why is people standing around? I, I can't even watch the video. I don't even know where it's at. Not even going to look for it. But my condolences to the family. Prayers go up to them to get through this situation. Everybody's trying to put in what their thoughts and feelings are. We have to wait for the investigation. We'll find out more. Condolences to the friends and family. There's so much going on in the world. There's some sick people out there. Everyone, focus on healthy, safe relationships. Be loving, be kind. Be around people that's strong in mind, body, soul, and spirit. Have a great day, everyone.